the first one was the trust in the marketing. Like you have yeah, to trust okay. that the marketing is actually going to create work, which is going to create more money in your bank. Right. So you have to trust yeah. that process. Um, and then which you should find a marketing company that you trust, obviously. Right. Yeah. Talk to you, people, you know, ask around who's a sure. good marketing company, talk to other business owners that are in your niche, mm -hmm. find one that's a good, that's highly recommended and then go with that one. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I would, that's what I would recommend. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the second one was the idea of not hoarding your money. Yep. But seeing money come in and then being okay, spending that money. Right. Mm -hmm. So like I talked to a guy the other day, he had 30 or 40 grand in the bank and he mm -hmm. still hadn't hired a marketing company. Hmm. And he, and so I said, Hey dude, you need to go like hire a legit marketing company to make sure that like all your bases are covered, your website, your PPC, all that stuff. Just go hire them, pay them their retainer. And he goes, well, how much does that typically cost? And I'm like anywhere from three to 5,000 a month for the retainer. And then you're going to need to spend some money on ads as well. And he's like, I can't afford that. And I was like, well, how, how, what's your cash position? How much cash does the business have? And it's just him right now. Mm -hmm. He goes, I got like, I think he like had like $38,000. And I was like, dude, you got plenty of money. Sure. They're like, that's plenty of money. Like you're going to mm -hmm. spend, you know, maybe 10 or 15 of that. And then mm -hmm. you're going to see all of that come back because the, right. the marketing is going to create more opportunity, which creates right. more money. Right. Um, so yeah, definitely don't be afraid to hire a marketing company. And then once you get that cash in, don't be afraid to spend it on more mm -hmm. marketing, right? Because mm -hmm. even if you have a marketing company um, and you trust your marketing company, like the first downfall of most people, like you trust the marketing is going to work, you trust the process, then it starts working, you get the cash in, you're always going to be reinvesting more money into more marketing as you grow right. your business. It's right. not like a one-time deal where you're like, okay, I'm paying five grand a month for my marketing. I'm done. We're good. That's it. All I ever need to do. You're going to hire two more guys and you're gonna be like, crap, I got to do more marketing. You're going to go to yep. your marketing company and go, yep. dude, I, how, can we spend more money in any of these areas that we're already doing? Mm -hmm. If we can't, can we market some other way? Mm -hmm. And you're just going to put more money into marketing consistently mm -hmm. as you grow. Um, what was the third one? Third one was the, the idea of cash flow. Right. So, and I don't really know how to explain cash flow super, super well, but it's this, you know, you're creating cash flow and that's really what you want to focus on. You don't want to focus on money in the bank. You want to focus on cash flow when you're growing. So it's like, right. how much, how much cash can I bring in? versus how much cash can I bring out? It's it's a weird concept to get used to when you're starting out because you've again, mm -hmm. you've never done it your whole life. Mm -hmm. And you'll see bigger money numbers than you've ever seen in your whole life. Right. Like you'll right. see you'll see a hundred grand come in and ninety grand go out. Or right. two hundred grand come in and hundred and eighty grand go out. Right. Or you know, you'll start seeing 500 grand come in, but then see 400 grand go out, right? Right. Bigger numbers than what you're used to. Um, and c it can kind of mess with your psyche, but um, <laughs> it, it really does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, um, I guess the best way to explain it is like the idea of cash flow, especially when you're doing a plumbing business, is you're billing out jobs daily. Okay. So you're getting cash in daily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and it builds up your bank a little bit and then you spend some. Right. But you can drop those funds further than you think because you have cash coming in. Okay? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like people be worried. I know there was times where I was worried about making payroll. Right. Or mm -hmm. I'd, I'd have 10 grand in the bank and I had four guys running. And I was like, you know, it'd be Monday and I'd be like, I don't have enough money for payroll on Friday. 